I've been coding for years, and I'm always looking for tools to speed things up. Today, I will be comparing two AI-powered code editors, Cursor versus Windsurf. Let's see which one helps more, even with something super simple. Now, this is going to be a very quick tutorial, and this is very beginner-friendly. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, I'm currently on my desktop right now. We are on the Cursor website. So I'm going to download this for Windows because I have a Windows. And I'm going to hop on Windsurf, and I'm also going to download this for Windows. Okay, so right now, we're going to start with Windsurf. I'm currently launching it. You could import your code from VS Code or Cursor, which is really cool. But for this video, we're just going to start fresh. And then we are going to use the default VS Code for the key bindings. And this is really cool how I can choose my editor theme type. Okay, I am actually going to go with... A, I'm going to go with Tokyo Night. Actually, I'm going to go with Synthwave. It looks really cool. Okay, so now I'm going to log in. I feel like we all have an email that we just throw on a back burner that's considered junk email. So I just like to use those for like, you know, new tools. I know I'm going to get a lot of emails, so... All right, guys, so we are on the landing page. So this is really cool. So it says getting started with Windsurf. It says code with Cascade. And then it says open command palette. So it just tells you how to do those things with those commands. So what we're going to do now in Workspace, we're going to click open folder. I want to um, go on desktop and then I want to like um, create a new folder, actually. And... I am going to call this new folder Windsurf. And guys, don't mind me. I just really like to like have things on my desktop. I'm those I'm that type of person. I like to have folders on my desktop. Like that's just me. Basically, I created an open folder cuz that's where my Python code is going to live. So a little bit of background on what I'm going to code. I'm basically creating like a very basic easy code where it asks for your name and it prints out a greeting. I am going to go to file and then I'm going to click on new file and then I'm just going to add a name where it says hello underscore name pi because it relates to our project and then I'm just going to click enter and then I am just going to save that. I really like the interface of how this looks. Um, it's very clean. It's It's very beginner friendly. Um, I like how it has like the little AI agent right here. So it says write with Cascade, knock off a new project or make changes across your entire code base. So you can access anything, which is really cool. We'll get into that. And then there's a chat feature, which is pretty cool. Chat with Cascade, ask questions or request suggestions for your code base or coding in general. I really love this layout. This is super dope. Um, and it basically has like your same layout as like VS Code, Python, but I really love this like chat feature right here. The terminal is actually down here, which is really cool too. All right, guys, so we're going to paste our code in. Like I said, this code is basically going to ask for your name and it's going to print out a greeting. I'm going to run without debugging. Okay. Great, so it just ran, you could see it in our terminal here and it printed out what's your name, which is amazing. So we're gonna chat with Cascade. We're gonna ask questions or request suggestions. My question for Windsurf is, can you turn this into a program that asks for your age and says how old you'll be next year? So I'm gonna ask it that. I just sent it. It's cooking, it's cooking, okay. Cool. So it's it's doing it. Wow. Okay, so it says, I'll help you create a program that asks you for your age and calculates your age for next year. Let me first check the current content of the file. So it analyzes the content of the file. And it says, I'll update the file to create a program that asks for your age and calculates your age for next year. So this is the code that actually does it. This is actually really cool. Sorry, guys, this is this is a raw like review. Like this is my first time using it. So I'm having a raw reaction. I'm going to click apply. And it just applied the code underneath the code that I previously had. So now I'm going to run the code again. And I'm going to run without debugging. And yes, I'm going to start another one. 
Okay, so it's running again in our terminal. Okay, cool. So there are no bugs in our code, which is freaking amazing. Now I'm gonna actually test this code out. So it's asking, what is my name? I'm gonna type my name and it just says, hello, Virginia. Your name has eight letters. What is your age? I am currently 22. So I'm gonna hit enter. And it says next year you'll be 23 years old. Um, I'm really impressed by how quickly it generated the code and I'm really impressed on how it actually worked pretty well. Um, this is something that I would definitely use in the future for sure. And just a reminder that this is a very basic tutorial. If you do want a deeper dive, let me know and I will do a whole deep dive on Windsurf using very advanced code. So now we're gonna try a cursor. One thing that I'm noticing is that Cursor has less customizable themes than Windsurf. Windsurf had about like six. Cursor only has three, but I'm gonna go with the Cursor Dark High Contrast. So this page is just breaking down the quick commands that you could use. So there's an agent, there's a Cursor tab, and then there's Control K to edit code with AI, which is pretty cool. I like how they have those options. This layout is very different from Windsurf. I definitely get the vibe that the theme here is simplicity. Uh, so we're going to open a project. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with Windsurf. I'm going to go to desktop and then I'm going to right click. I'm going to click new folder. It's just to know I'm on the very basic plan of cursor. I do not, I, I am not on the pro. Even with Windsurf, I was on very basic plan with Windsurf too. Okay, so now we're going to go to file, new text file. It didn't really give me the option to rename my file, which is interesting. I guess I have to do that later. Comparing to Windsurf, it automatically had that pop-up where I could rename my file. It's fine. We're going to keep going. I'm going to paste my code. Another thing that I noticed about cursor versus Windsurf is that when I pasted my code, a lot of my input did not highlight or change colors. It's basically the same white color in my text throughout the whole text. I'm just going to run my file. I'm going to run without debugging. Interesting. So I guess I named the file here. Okay, great. So now my code is actually running guys another thing the same thing as windsurf you do have to have a python extension or whatever language extension that you're using installed before you use the code editor so a couple of things that i noticed that was different for windsurf so i pasted my code in already and then after i pasted my code um i decided to run the code and then after i decided to run the code i had to save the file to its folder after I decided to run the code and name the file. And then it told me to install Python. Other than Windsurf, I created a new text file. I renamed that file. I saved it to the folder and then I pasted my code and then I ran it. Compared to here, it's kind of opposite, but let's continue to run our code. So I'm gonna run without debugging. I'm gonna select the Python debugger. And it opened up the terminal, which is great. And now my code is running, which is great. No issues so far. This is pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the agent the same thing that I asked the Windsurf, the Windsurf agent. Can you turn this into a program that asks for your age and says how old you'll be next year? So I'm just gonna ask that question. And it's generating, it's cooking and it said that I'll help you modify the program to ask for your age and get delete. Okay. So, okay, so this is kind of cool. Um, it's modify the program to ask for the age, convert the okay. Now you can run the program. Okay. I'm just gonna click accept. Um so interesting. Um, I think I might have done that wrong. It just added one line of code for what I wanted it to do compared to Windsurf where it had around three lines of code. Okay, so now I am going to uh, rerun this again. Don't mind me guys, I just really love 
running the file. It got rid of my other code. I didn't want that to do that. So I'm going to go back and re-add my code. I guess in my chat, I needed to be a little bit more specific saying, can that be in addition to the code that I inputted already? In addition to my code that ask for your name. Okay. So let's see what it says now. Okay, great. So I guess I just have to clarify that. I guess I had to be more specific saying I want to keep the code that I have, but I also want to add an addition to this. Compared to um, WinSERP, I just had to say, can you just add this? And it didn't, it didn't remove my old code. So I guess in cursor, you do have to be a little bit more specific. So that's really good to know. Okay, so I'm just gonna accept this code. Wait, I'm gonna review it first before it removes before it removes anything. So name, okay, great. So I guess the red means reject. So that's totally my fault because I didn't notice that the red means you have to it actually rejects the code and the green means you accept it. So nothing is highlighted as red. So we don't wanna reject anything. We just want to accept this new addition to our code. So I'm gonna accept it right now. And then I'm gonna run it again. It's running the file. What is your name? Okay, so we're gonna say what our name is. My name is Virginia. I'm gonna press enter. What is your age? I am 22. Press enter. Okay, great. So it did what we wanted to do. That was very interesting. Okay, so here are my final thoughts between Windsurf and Cursor. I personally found Windsurf to be a better experience overall. It was super user-friendly, smart, and everything just flowed very well. From the moment I created a file, it helped me named it, save it right into my folder, and guided me step by step with no confusion. Installing Python was very smooth and writing my code felt very simple and direct. With Cursor, it still worked, but I had to think more about what to do next. I wasn't really used to the flow it had of saving your file and the whole running process and then installing Python and then running it again. That whole process was very different from Windsurf. So if I had to rate them, I would definitely give Windsurf a 9 out of 10. It was super smooth and very intuitive. And then I would give Cursor a 7 out of 10. It was very solid but not as effortless compared to Windsurf. Both were really great, but Windsurf definitely made the whole process easier for me. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like the comparison, make sure to follow me for more tech tips, tools, and tutorials.